Nandi, Nandi is a symbolism of eternal waiting. This is considered as the highest level of intelligence. The larger dimension of the existence, which is always in action, you become aware of it. Now, you are all the time one hundred percent open and alert to everything. If you just do that, everything will descend upon you. Nandi… Nandi is a symbolism of eternal waiting, okay? Because waiting is considered as the greatest virtue in this culture. One who knows how to simply sit and wait, he is naturally meditative. He is not expecting Shiva will come out tomorrow, but he will wait forever. So that quality is the essence of receptivity. So Nandi is Shiva's closest accomplice because he is the essence of receptivity. So before you go into the temple, you must have the quality of the Nandi, that you simply sit. You are not trying to go to heaven, you are not trying to get this or that, you go inside and simply sit. So just sitting here, he is telling you, when you go into the temple, don't do your fanciful things, don't ask for this, that nonsense, just go and sit like me. That's the message he's giving you. See, people have always under misunderstood meditation means uh, some kind of an activity. No, it's a quality. So fundamental difference, why? Because this is a meditative temple, this is not a temple of prayer. Mm. Prayer means you're trying to talk to God. You're trying to tell him your woes, your expectations, your whatever else. Meditation means you're willing to listen to God. You're just willing to listen to the existence, to the ultimate nature of creation. You have nothing to say, you simply listen. That is the quality of Nandi, he just sits. Alert, this is very important, he is alert. He is not sleepy, he is not sitting in a passive way. He is sitting, very active, no expectation, no anticipation, no looking forward to anything, but full alertness, full life, are just sitting. That's Jeez. meditation. So meditation essentially means you are not doing your own thing. The individual person is not doing his own thing, he's just there. So once you're simply there, the larger dimension of the existence, which is always in action, you become aware of it. And part of it. And of course, you're anyway a part of it, you become yeah. aware that you're a part of it. Okay. Even now you're a part of it. But becoming aware that I'm a part of it is meditativeness. Nandi is a symbolism of eternal waiting, alert and waiting. He never said, where the hell are you, come? He simply waits. This is considered as the highest level of intelligence because you're alert and you're stable. Now things will happen to you, everything that's real will touch you. But otherwise you're busy with your own creation. What you think you're thought, brilliant thought that some of you are having, is just recycling of the limited data that you have gathered, yes or no? Hello, there are many computer engineers here. Whatever thought that you are having is just recycling a very limited data that you have gathered, yes or no? So the important thing in this is, the yogic culture always identified with ignorance, not with knowledge. Because whatever we may know, if we have read the libraries on the planet, if you have one hundred PhDs, still what you know is a minuscule in this existence, isn't it? Hello? Hello? In this cosmos, it doesn't matter how much we know, if you are the most knowledgeable person on this planet, still what you know is just a tiny little minuscule. If you identify with this minuscule, you will become a minuscule because what you identify with, you become, isn't it? You identify with India, you become an Indian. You identify with Hindu, you become Hindu. You identify with Islam, you become Muslim. Yes or no? What you identify with, you become that. If you identify with this little knowledge, you will become that. But <laughs> our ignorance is boundless. Hello? 
So you identify with your ignorance, you identify with what you do not know. Now, you are all the time one hundred percent open and alert to everything. If you just do that, everything will descend upon you. Namaskaram everyone. Now, we all heard from Sadhguru that how Nandi is the symbolism of eternal waiting. But on the other hand, do you know that Shiva also can't live without Nandi? Here's a short story behind this. When Tarakasur came to kill Devas so that he could capture Swarg Loka, Nandi tried to stop him. But Tarakasur accidentally killed Nandi. Seeing this, Shiva got angry and was ready to destroy the entire Swarg Loka because all these took place due to existence of this Swarg Loka. At the same time, when Devas pleaded in front of him to stop and this could disbalance the existence, Shiva stopped and gave Nandi rebirth through Asura Guru Sukracharya. As a great follower and bhakt of Shiva, Nandi too had many powers. Once Nandi got entangled in conflict with Ravana when Ravana insulted very badly to Nandi. Nandi cursed Ravana that his entire kingdom would be burnt by a forest dweller monkey or Vanara. Later, Hanuman burnt Lanka when he went in search of Sita, who was imprisoned by Ravana in the grove called Ashok Vatika. So, we clearly got to know that how Shiva himself cannot live without his bhakt or a follower. It is not that we will also get the supernatural powers like Nandi. It is not like this. These are the ways of only representation. We all have super powers within us. As Shiva is always present, the only thing is we have to become like Nandi. At most alert but still and meditative. Meditation is not any type of work, it is a state of being, it's a quality. Meditation means we are willing to just listen to existence, the Shiva, to the ultimate nature of creation. We have nothing to say but simply listen to the existence. That is the quality of Nandi. He just sits alert and just listen. Nandi is Shiva's closest accomplice because he is the essence of receptivity. So, next time when you and me enter a temple, remember to have a quality of Nandi to simply sit. As just by sitting outside temple, Nandi is telling you, when you go in, don't do your fanciful things. Don't ask for this or that. Just go and sit like me. So at last, hope you loved the video and found it meaningful. And if yes, do not forget to give it a like, share and subscribe. Up to next, stay safe, healthy, happy and Namaskaram.